The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Nina was rocking out. Oh, you see her like, it was dancing so away there? I always <laughs> rock out. Oh, yeah. And Nina's rocking out. Even Gary was dancing a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Ready. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Our Brits are a little tired. They look a little sleepy today. We'll see if we can wake them up, get them inspired. What is this racism? <laughs> Br Britishism. Britishism. I'm an anti-Britite. That's it. Ooh. Maybe that's what happened. That's he slapped it. the tit on top and then uh, got tired. <laughs> oh, 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 We all have tits. Yeah. <laughs> We're going with them tits. tits. <laughs> I love it. Oh. I don't know if Longman Eats. has tits. Um, sure. Well, <laughs> He's got tentacles. What do you need tits when you got tentacles? <laughs> All kind of wow. titulation with tentacles. Flash them if you got them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not flashing. I don't got any. So there's no <laughs> flash. Fucking no balls. No. No. I don't know if we could like have this on like the whole time. I, that that probably got us the age restricted. Who knows with fucking YouTube right now? So that probably yeah. did too. Hi everybody. Welcome to. Uh, <laughs> The real BBC. Uh, bagging, boarding, and chatting. And there will actually be some bagging and boarding today. Ooh, ooh. But you know what comic I don't have, Eric July? Oh. I don't have Isom yet. But you know who does? Everyone else. Everyone awesome. else. I don't. Hey, yo. I'm, I'm not awesome for Isom yet, but I will be. It's, I've you know, it I ordered a bunch of, bunch of extra stuff, so that's probably why. Yeah, um, so did I, but... I did it in two orders. So this is the first order that I put on the first day. Yeah. My other covers, t-shirt, lenticulars, they're yet to arrive. Yeah, that's, I did everything at once, so. Dang, the shipping costs. But look at this, look at this box. It looks a, awesome. Ooh. It's branded ooh. reverse. And B, like this comic came absolutely perfect, immaculate. That is beautiful. That is how you. That is how you make sure that something gets there beautifully. No, no expense spared. Lots and of protection. No white lines down here. All that nonsense. Oh no, wavy. I... Oh, you don't know about this, but uh, the <clears throat> one comic shop owner out there in the audience will understand. No waviness in the cover, because they no, no, no. Pack them, they pack them oh, wet, oh. and it's yeah, yeah. frustrating. Wait, uh, I, I tell yeah. you one they thing. I did wet? when I was yep. I was reading it like this. So it's just like here, because I'm I'm going blind. So I'm reading it like that, and I'm reading like a, a page of text and stuff. And then I realize, like, oh shit, because I've I've had my thumb like that. So like I I I, I redrew it to see if there's going to be ink on me because I'm used to the shitty quality of modern comics. Uh huh. And of course, there's no ink on it because these pages are all beautifully. And I've read it. Is it good? I, I enjoyed it. Nice. Wow. Someone uh, just. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just this. trying to. Uh, I'm thinking of how I could do a non-spoiler review because I know that Ooh. Eric doesn't want like those at the moment. Really? What? It's a five twenty-five on eBay already. Apparently. Well, oh, is shit. that a buy it now? Okay, I'm putting that... mine up now, right now. <laughs> 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 I've read it. I've got two more incoming. That's all good. Okay, let's go. 
Well, Eric understands because he's a collector too. Scarcity. I would. I demand. Uh, 310 pounds or nearest offer. 17 people watching. 465 pounds. 16 people watching. Wow. 270 pounds. Well, I mean, pounds and dollars are basically the same now. Uh, 23 bidders. Wow. Wow. So that's, that's just that's, one that's comic. Your, that's your real time value right there. He's got eight days, eight and a half days left. So it could be a, like worth 500. I can see this thing being worth a couple thousand bucks. I'm getting mine CGC'd right away. Ooh. Dude, I'm, getting, I'm sending mine to CGC. They, and I'll, I'll see if they, they, they better not kick it back. They probably won't. I, I doubt they will. CGC's never been known to do stuff like that. They'll CGC uh, anybody's karmic if you pay them. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's going for it's it's going for uh, here's one that just went up, ninety one pounds, two bids, six days left. Uh, after YouTube, <laughs> unless somebody wants to write it, draw it, ink it, and letter it for me, and I just tell them like a basic plot. Yeah, Gary, <laughs> we're we're making a comic. We are. Well, we're making a book. We get, we're only two years late on that. We're only two years late on it, but like we haven't put up the. <laughs> at least we didn't put up the. Indicato. Yeah, at least we haven't taken the fucking money. Yeah, we're not going <laughs> to take the money, and we're not gonna until it's done. That's our thing. We were going to surprise you with that, but we're gonna. It's going to be done, printed, bound, everything before we do anything. End of story. But uh, yeah, I did one. Long time ago, you'll never see it. Really? Oh. Why? I want to. It see wasn't it. good, but um, at least I like I did it all on my own when I was like three months out of prison. I just wanted something to do, so just to to keep me sober. So I'm like, I'm gonna make a comic. It cost me a bunch of money. Didn't make. Uh, I made a little bit money back at conventions and stuff, but I just did it to do it for me. Well, that's as, good. Did you visit a Smurf? Yeah. What did you eat out a Smurf as? A Smurf comic. I uh, I suck Venom's cool. cock. No, he blew a Smurf. Oh <laughs> my god! It's, that's the uh, the the Venom uh, geek fuel. Major tongue blue. Hmm? Major tongue blue. That's interesting. You're not allowed to talk about food on this live stream. I am fasting, so of course my Ooh. son makes a wonderful deep dish pizza, and I can smell it from here. Oh, that's terrible. That's just mean. It's, gonna be it's like a, torture when you're fasting. Yes. <laughs> uh, da, 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 well, I, Gary, I, I, I won't talk about food because I am stuffed. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> 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 I just ate and I am so fucking full, dude. Oh my God. Ready to pop? <laughs> I can eat on Thursday. Thursday, I can What? Have... You got to go right? another day? You're doing a 48 hour. I'm doing a 72 hour and then it's followed up by no sugar or salt for three weeks. The Melanie Mac diet or salt. Why, why no salt? Well, I mean, it's hard to avoid salt. So we're going to, we're going to greatly reduce salt. Yeah. Yeah. But no also added salt is salt. good for you. But like my snacks are going to be raw almonds, rice cakes with like almond butter and like local honey. That will be my sugar. Nice. Uh, yeah. That's good stuff. It's the, uh, uh, by the way, we all have to do this before we go to meetups, so we look somewhat presentable before we go mm -hmm. to meetups. Is that why you're doing it? Because you're yeah, you trying to look fit. You want, you want to lose and some weight. Fabulous. Well, <laughs> yeah, and I mean, like, I'm old, so you got to got to clean out the system because uh, I've been working so like nonstop. Mm -hmm. I wasn't like really staying on top of my diet. So you're doing like some detoxing. Yeah, because I f just yeah. felt like shit. I've been feeling good. tired and everything. And immediately, as soon as I start my fast, I, my energy's back. Yeah. Energy's back because it's the freaking food. It's the freaking food. I was uh, like eating out a lot recently. Like a lot hey. of food and stuff. <laughs> 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 oh, I didn't realize. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, but then I started cooking that is at home. home. Yes. You I have to cook at home. home. In the kitchen. and um, Yes. Save and money. Yeah, save and it's money for you, and it's better for you. Yeah, and you know what? That's how you and travel. That's how you travel to the UK. Uh, you you pay a little extra money to get a little kitchen in your hotel room, 
and you just don't go out. You don't get yeah. and you go to their grocery stores and buy their food and prepare it yourself and make it yourself. And that's how that's how you don't starve to death in the UK when you travel there, when you're a normal person, not a UK person who's used to UK food. <laughs> also, I like your life. Look at me. I'm from fucking New Zealand, mate. Yeah, I'm from a different dimension. Yeah, yeah. I like your, I like your super lights. Your Batman and Superman lights, or it could be Superwoman. I mean, you don't know. No, I know. No, that's a Superman. No, <laughs> that is Superman. No. Oh my God. Should I kick her now? Yeah. <laughs> Is it too early? To kick her? Uh, hello, oh, I deserve Mahler. that. I, hello. hello, yeah, you do. Hello, Mahler. What's up? How you doing? Yeah, we had a good time Sunday. Yeah, that was a really great episode. <laughs> yeah, it was. So it's uh, kicking up now. We got to go. Is it three left? If they three can... left, thank God. So we have like one is a palate cleanser after uh, the rings of shit um finishes yeah. Oof. Oof. it's been it's been quite something uh so many so many different people praising the shit out of it it's uh it's the winner of the four shows by far oh dude i think it's just because people don't like it now i think they're just liking it because because they think like the 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 alt-right likes it or some or doesn't like it i think that's just you i mean if you are a professional critic and you like this show um, you're not good at your job. Nobody should ever listen to you. Did you see the statistics guy Which, article that I that I put for you on the on the real BBC that he I fell asleep? <laughs> he fell oh, asleep yeah. like several times. Oh, we got all kinds of fun articles. <laughs> oh, uh, that was so funny. George is getting eaten by his own again because oh. he invited a bunch of woke people into the science fiction and fantasy space and they fucking took it over. Uh, and now he's dealing with the consequence and all of a sudden now he's starting to call, call for free speech and, you know, anti-woke stuff. He actually says, he actually calls out woke yeah. oh. woke people. Yeah. I'll read the quote later. A little late. Little. Oh late. yeah. A few weeks ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, well, they tried to cancel him at that, uh, at that award ceremony, like in 2020, I think it was, or 2019. Yep. Cause he got somebody's name wrong. So they're canceling the co-author of he, the Fire and he Blood. Got everyone's name wrong in all fairness. Uh, the in great, all fairness, yeah. The great, yeah, and I do too. And I challenge I any too. Asian person who's never seen my last name to, or any person around the world to pronounce my name, except if you're in Germany. That doesn't count. I uh, know extra girl's surname. I can't pronounce that. People fucking get my name wrong in real <laughs> life. Challenge really? Yeah, no. It happens. <laughs> I just got used to it. I stopped correcting people. I like it, my name got mispronounced so much. I'm just like, yep, that's fine. I don't care. No, oh, dude, on my Doctor Strange video where I pronounced the actress's name for America Chavez wrong, like, you know, I'm like, I make a joke out of him, like, Chavez should the America. And then I put the flag. I'm just like, yay. Someone was like, pretty racist that he did that with her name, but nobody else's. And so it was like, nobody else's. The, the 28 <laughs> Benedict Cumberbunch. He made the Benedict Cumberbunch's name throughout the whole thing. Like, that's uh, stupid. What? Speaking, <laughs> speaking of getting people's names wrong, did you guys hear about how somebody on the set of uh, Netflix's Dahmer uh, got PTSD because people didn't say her name wrong? Right? And not from the actual content of the show? Yeah. Not from just, the murdering, um, no. but from the... <laughs> From getting being called the wrong name. You get name. what you deserve, Hollywood and Netflix. You get what you deserve. Do you notice that the LGBTQ plus IA two plus AA B B C D do Y five over wavy lines? Uh, uh, so like, can you remove the LGBTQ tab from uh, Dharma, please? What did they? I didn't. I Wait, didn't what? hear about this. Because because did you can only it? have positive. <laughs> gay yeah. characters you can't have a cannibal well, his victims were gay too. Killing I mean, cannibal. Like, why not his victims Everybody were gay, gay. yeah, yeah like, I, it's, I it's think, ridiculous i think the gays can be serial killers too i'm progressive i think yeah so. oh yeah, yeah. But gary yeah, gary got the correct point that even if dharma is gay and a serial killing cannibal his victims were gay men yeah. who yeah. were who were going in there blind oh, right. black gay men so why can't Quality? they get why can't they get the representation, hey? 
He didn't well, care though. They're focusing he, on Jeffrey Dahmer and they're not focusing on the victims. That's part of the problem. Jeffrey so. Dahmer though, he didn't care. Like he killed white, black. No, no, he, didn't, he, he was <laughs> like, he was I, I think, I think in glorifying all this shit like is horrific. Like that's yeah. why I don't, I don't watch it. Don't Did watch you see it. the tweets where people are just like, "Oh my god, people are thirsting for Dharma"? Yeah. yeah. Oh that's, god, that's, really? That's why. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. why you don't glorify this shit because oh, there, there are a yeah. bunch of uh, of women Dama's out there who the sexy there's a bunch of women out there who simp like hell for fucking murderers. Okay, the death row that's is true. filled that's with guys true. getting letters and oh, chicks true. visiting and conjugal conjugal visits and marriage. And they get to get laid. And yeah, it's disgusting. It's really fucking weird. Like, I never understood that whole, you know, I can change him. Uh -huh. Even though he's well, in fucking jail for murdering. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then there's, uh, well, it, with Dahmer, this, the Netflix series, there's also the fact that the families weren't aware that the show was being made. So now they're, like, speaking out about how they're feeling kind of fucked up about it. <laughs> Um, so much drama, right. so much, but we're here to drama. talk about entertainments. Yeah, let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. like, Rings, Rings of, power. of Power. I know. Oh, any show. <laughs> she Hulk. Ugh. Ugh. Let's pick that. Sh she that show is. I still. This is a newer episode, right? I don't think I've seen it yet. I haven't seen the What's new. The new oh, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. one out in two days. There's one out tomorrow night, technically. Yep. The, the, what happened in the newest one? I've seen the, the wedding. Therapy one. The therapy one. The therapy one. one. I haven't seen the therapy one yet. Wow. I'm, all I'm, See, so I'm actually there. at the point where I only watch them right up until it's the EFAP coverage, and it's like I have no choice. I'm so sorry. <laughs> only reason I watched mine early was for my video, and now I'm back to watching it 20 minutes before Friday Night Tight starts and skipping through like really fucking boring parts, which makes it about a 10 episode. Like all episode. of it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a very different experience when i've got the three shows where i'm just like yeah and then there's this one show where i'm like do you really have to release it weekly that was mean you could have just released every episode right away and gave it all to me uh, but, no, but it didn't. wouldn't be as big as it is now no i, it, I genuinely said. am thankful because even yeah. gary even being able to consume it week by week is actually kind of preferable in terms of we get to you know settle with each story and uh i think that actually helps the time jumps too Oh, it does. It does. If you, if you were to binge watch it, I think that would be more jarring. But, uh, you know, still, so I'm sure it works. Uh, and, and we'll find ways that when As goes to the bathroom, we'll talk about House of Dragon. Um, <laughs> what's up, Nina? Uh, not much. Not much. I'm just uh, hanging out. Good to be here. Thank you for having me on. And uh, ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Uh, great. Talk about some She-Hulk yeah. therapy. You can, you can talk about House of Dragons. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I let's mean, talk about how Az likes um, man boobs. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wake me up when you're done. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh the crying game. We're just. <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! You say nice rack. Fucking Nina in a stream last night saying I'm fucking whacking it off to trannies. It's fucking in my, in my <laughs> stream. Me? That's what she fucking said. I did. Then Nina. in my gaming stream yesterday, people go, Well, I bet Alf fucks his dog. I don't even have a fucking dog. Oh the my dog's god. In the, game. the dog's in the fucking game. I'm never I'm never complimenting any tits ever again in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. In public. Well, you denied it so hard, and I was like, well, in public. without protesting in public. much, as I feel oh, like well. you did it. We almost made it through not getting angry. No, scripted. Nina, I was watching that stream. I was, I, when I said you're fired, I was half joking. <laughs> just half joking, but I was <laughs> half serious. Just kind of like uh, that uh, That person in She Hulk was half a dude. <laughs> 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 At least I picked the right half. <laughs> oh my God. Go there. <laughs> There's so many sex spots in the chat. It's funny. Uh, get rid of them, by the way. There's ways, as in permanently. I've done it for EFAP now. It worked. Um, oh, I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're going to say. Oh, do you want um, to keep saying it? Or? <laughs> no. Yeah, keep saying it. Because they can hear you. Can't they? Oh, they're bots, maybe. No, so the bots. Bots, the bots will figure it out eventually. They always evolve. They've been oh. around for a long time. Uh, there's a temporary fix, I don't know I if there's a person. I, I have no fucking oh, idea. Oh, you tell me later, girl. Mahler. I'll deal deal with them. Tell, tell yeah. the X-ray girl in the private chat. And me. <laughs> sure. Later. Thank you, Mahler. Um, all right. 
Oh, X-ray girl. Hello. Yeah. Um, I've been admiring your shirts. They look so good on you guys. Thank you. Also, when your shirt goes down, it almost looks like a OT overtime or just like a cool bullseye. Almost like a good Game of Thrones, maybe. I don't know. Got it. I can just do got it. it. Well, got it is it. got it. I, well, yeah, guys. It was it just, nearly got it. There, there was a there was a typo on your shirts specifically. Maybe on all the shirts. Bleh. English is my third language. <laughs> It's all right, it's my first language. Third, which one is your second language? Vietnamese and like Cantonese, but I only oh, speak okay. English. Canadian. Too dialectically. <laughs> <laughs> that is how it works. I spoke I two languages first. I thought maybe you knew first. French. <laughs> I, I thought maybe you knew French because you're in Toronto. So. No, I mean, oh, I kinda... yeah, I thought it was going to be um, some weird language, obviously from over there. Like, French. and then I yeah. thought it was going to be French and English. I mean, English. I can also speak gibberish too. That's fun. Whoa. Can you speak can, frontier we, gibberish, though? Frontier gibberish? Go, 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 well, I mean, that's like the hot fuzz joke, right? The yeah, yeah. Well, it's actually a Blazing Saddles. Joke. Oh, hot yeah, fuzz Blazing Saddles. Such a classic, yeah. and Blazing Saddles is the best. Yes. I need to rewatch this. Gibberish. I said the sheriff. The well, sheriff. I, really, I think you said the sheriff is near. The sheriff is near. <laughs> <laughs> Is a nice person. It's a nice person. Yeah. Oh, okay. What do we want to start with? She Hulk. <laughs> Which cancer are we gonna get first? Oh, I don't even know. Uh let's talk about sex oh. baby. Sexism in the real BBC. Now, uh, oh my God. <laughs> wow. there's not that's enough of it. Shot. That's the, Who's the being grail, sexist towards uh, you, Gary? I want to uh, fix the sex bot problem. That that little screenshot is is. the holy grail. That okay, but it might up. be. I don't know if it'll be extra gear or Gary that has to implement that. But I would recommend as you do the same thing. Nina, yeah. pretty much everybody. I can find, do it. I'm gonna do find that. that a part of your profile and block all of those. You'll be. You'll I be got it. Me. I'm gonna do that, Mahler. Thank you. So uh, I put up a tweet. I don't think about them very much after I do it. It's just an impulsive thing. Oh, we got to talk about Velma, too. That's pretty funny. Velma's, like, totally a lesbian now in Scooby-Doo. I've yeah. seen people find over whether or not she's gay or bi. They're having the uh, that moment. Oh, she's she, been... she gay. <laughs> I got news for you. I got news for you. <laughs> I mean, lesbian. I'm not up to snuff on my Scooby-Doo, but I'm assuming she's dated guys or been interested in guys before, right? Or... Yeah, but it's not Velma. Wait, is this that's, the one that's, that's the thing. It's not Velma. It's a self insert for. Is it Mindy, Mindy Kaling? Yeah. Yeah, Mindy Kaling's show. Okay, I was just wondering if it was hers. Okay. But she's she's in self inserting on Velma. Yeah, I, I got a response to that later because great. Venture Brothers really did it first. Ooh, it just twelve more likes for three thousand. I didn't know she was a lesbian though. No, she's probably just virtue signaling it to the rest of her mm -hmm. um, echo chamber. Um, okay. In the movie, in the live action movie, Velma was actually, I thought, hotter than. Uh, I always oh, wanted to. Is Linda Cardellini, are you kidding me? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. She She's hot. hot. Yeah. Yeah. Seth Green right. was going out with her in that, wasn't he? Was he? Really? Not like in real... IRL, I mean, in the, in the film. Oh, oh, well, oh, 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 I thought you meant IRL. I was like, what? Yeah. No way. Oh. It was a James I Gunn movie too, right? God, time. I believe it was. Yes, it was. Strange. All right, so I just put up like somebody paid to write this show, and it says you didn't tell me you were nominated for female lawyer of the year, and then they have to show you female lawyer of the year, right? <laughs> so I've got normal responses, and I've got. You know, you gotta, they get buried for some reason, but then, you know, I'll just, I will just take you through this. I've gotten a bunch of people going, you understand that's what happens in an actual career. 
You know, they did their research, <laughs> and there's a real thing called female lawyer of the year. He just hates women. He's an mm. incel. So I was watching mm. this, whole, and it all happened on like one day, right? It all happened on Sunday. So as was streaming, I texted him. I'm like, look at these fucking bots go. They came out of nowhere on a five day old tweet and just start blowing me up. So I had time. I had an extra time. I went down the rabbit hole. So I looked at the people who like these tweets, and I'll be able to find it in a second. But uh, for the vast majority of them, they have a lot of likes and no comments or like very few comments. So that's no interaction, which means they're probably bots. So I went down and I looked at the people who liked it and none of them have ever tweeted about She-Hulk before, mm -hmm. ever. So they're liking tweets, uh, criticizing me for criticizing She-Hulk, but they have never tweeted about She-Hulk. So Twitter isn't the real world. We know that, right? But my favorite part is like, that's not what it, my tweet was about her lawyering. Like how much lawyering has she done to earn lawyer of the year? Lawyer she's of the had day. Her, um, she's had her lawyering made fun of by other characters in this show. Like um, Mallory like Book, right? The proper saying, lawyer. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like didn't she, like she went to meet Abomination because she like the whole like the case thing but she hasn't like represented him in court or anything there there's been no lawyering at all the, she's just the been parole hearing but even yeah. then she uh she without telling wong made him become an american vigilante essentially right then... you're saying that she did the wong thing that was it that was a joke i'll be here every tuesday and thursday right. don't forget to wait everybody in my comic shop everybody in my comic shop knew this joke Okay, so I'm just going to make it very clear. I was in San Francisco with a comic shop, so um, I had I had 15 Wongs oh. <laughs> as my subscriber. Don't make it right. No, it was it was the joke was always don't get the Wong Wong. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my god! 15 Wongs, uh, we did, and they like a bunch of them. Had, it was just a Wong, so they had five A Wongs. <laughs> I had a couple D Wongs, <laughs> but Ooh. yeah, you'd have to put their first initial before their last name. It's the way it, it's the way it was. Don't get the Wong Wong. It was a funny joke back then. We liked it. It's still <laughs> funny now. <laughs> I'll get canceled for it. I don't care. Uh, da, 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 My okay. speech impediment. How that? that, that so she has done no cool. lawyering or super superheroing in this show. She's been she's been, she's been thirsty for guys. She's been thirsty for guys. That's that's and yes. desperate and the desperate for yeah. men. She fucked like... a dude because he bought her a plate of chips. Mm. Well, come on, been 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 I don't know how to do lawyer stuff. To be fair, that's what most of us expect after <laughs> buying. <my friend. laughs> the only you don't tell them that though, Gary. Come on, you don't tell them that. I feel like the only I bought accurate... your drink, I think I'm owed sex. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the only that's the mentality going around in our heads. It is. I mean, we don't that's expect true. like it, it's still a surprise when it's like, oh, you really do? Well, uh... oh, you, 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 oh, <laughs> well. if I'd known that would have only got you two, not four. <laughs> We're learning some dating things in uh, the real BBC. Uh, don't worry, dating things for me. <laughs> the dating advice, I, okay? I dated so long ago and so little, so <laughs> I know what you mean, Gary. Uh, the only thing I think is accurate in this show, though, is the amount of drinking she does for a lawyer, and I only know that because of Nick Ricada. Because she's an alcoholic. Yeah, he, I mean, they drink a lot. They, the lawyers drink a lot. Come on, like that's true. Yeah, like there's a lot of booze. Smoke a lot. There's a lot of booze. <laughs> there's a lot of booze. Yeah, but she had. A, she even had a shot before she went out on a date. <laughs> In a wow. home on her own. This girl, like, dude, when she was doing yoga and staring at the phone, I was like, who would do this? Like, you have no sense of pride whatsoever. Like, just who cares if if he didn't text you back and. Maybe you shouldn't put out as much. I don't know. Go ahead. Well, she's a massive whore, so she keeps, <laughs> she's got to keep that going. It's just weird, the support for the Rings of Power and She-Hulk. I mean, if it was a mid-show, I could understand it. And this far in, I shouldn't even think it's weird. But it still is. It's, it's weird. weird. It's weird. weird. 
that in in one sur- but uh, but I did point out which by the way got no response from these bots that okay. none of these bots trans that like could migrate over to YouTube like none of them my my on my last Marvel video it's hovering around 98 99% Oh. likes to dislikes and that's the real number the one i can see uh in yeah. my channel so and and i know as it's the same for you i know it's the same for you mauler but like what's your dr strange video at likes to dislikes a six um, hour video can we guess can we guess can we play a guessing game yeah let's play a guessing game what, what do you guess gary you go first 97 percent i'm gonna go with 96.6 do you want to have the, the lasses give a guess as well? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go with um, 38 seconds. Just. <laughs> Why are you going to be like that? Wow. That's wow. Poor Az. Nina, Poor Az. they would be the greatest 38 seconds of your life. <laughs> <laughs> because it would be over quickly and I'd be out of there. <laughs> 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 you're, you're saying the time um, more after. like her. More like the best 38 seconds of your life, but that's oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't chill. laughs> Do not come. Oh, I'm Do not, not come. I'm not. I'm gonna come. He's faking okay, it. maybe I'm gonna come. All right, maybe. You know, all right, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> you got a guess x-ray girl no Some i'm working on what uh okay. Mahler has told me so Mahler? All right, fair enough so the the review so you got you got 97 was it from gary 96.6 from as the mm-hmm. truth is 96.1 mm. oh wow Close I thought you were going to go 96.8 and it was going to be split between the uh, <laughs> two. It's, uh, that's great. That's amazing for the that's amount awesome. of brilliant uh, likes on it, for the amount of people that have watched that. That's an insane, insanely well, yeah, the, high. With the amount of criticism it got, which was a hefty amount on Twitter, it's like, man, I guess if those did translate over, there must be a shit ton more people who liked it. Uh, yeah, because it's not even 5% just yeah. yeah. liked it. So... Mm-hmm. It Imagine doesn't tra- 90, 100 people in a room, 96 of them are stood with you. And this is why I pay it no mind. It's nice to bring it up once in a while, but this is just why I pay it no mind. I will I will make another video. I will I can't wait to do to do my She-Hulk review of the entire season and just rip it to shreds because it's terrible. Uh and it's everything wrong with with Marvel. It's everything wrong with Hollywood. Uh really the last I've always said it's going to get worse before it gets better, but the Rings of Power and She-Hulk coming out simultaneously Ooh. is just a one-two yeah. punch of get woke, go broke. Ooh. Did you Ooh. see a certain thing, though? What certain when, thing? When Jamelia Jamal Jamuji, when she was doing her... Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> That was a great pronunciation of her name. Yeah. I think Thank you. I don't speak Cantonese, so bear with me. Okay. Uh, okay. When she... <laughs> wow. <laughs> No, get it. Why is he laughing? And English is his first language. Um, that's so, why. So remind. <laughs> Said who? Said who? She's going to get PTSD, as. Calm down. She's not from Cantania. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That sounds like somewhere Marvel's going to fucking make a new movie about. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's where Dr. Doom's going to be from. The I come from Cantania. Cantania. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when uh, Jamila Jamil was doing her virtue signal saying, hey, uh, She-Hulk was number one in the in the streaming charts. Yes. Which was had, like, so many caveats, but never mind. Do you know what was actually below her? Andor. So less people are actually watching Andor than She-Hulk. Oof. Well, and that list that's being thrown around is completely inaccurate. Okay, mm. it's it, it's it's from WHIP or whatever media. So they're like yeah, parent yeah, analytics. They're they're judging based on hashtags and other media. They're not getting actual third party. Nielsen's the only one that gets Nielsen and uh, I forgot the other one. There's a couple of companies that get legit third party data Gallup. through. Yeah, yeah, through through uh, streaming on television, like how I watched House of the Dragon last night but not how i watched it with mahler 
because I, I watch it on my desktop. So that doesn't that doesn't get counted. But if I watch it on my home theater, that will get counted. Right. Um, Do you know what else and, went down in the viewing figures this week? <sighs> oh, probably Rings of Power. Quantum Leap. Oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> wow, I'm shocked. No way. I'm so Why hasn't the show been cancelled yet? Surprised. Um, well, <clears throat> you know where you get your you just your matter of fact websites that are just like so and so show did this much this week. Um, uh, you know, either you know, proving to be relatively strong against da da da. And they're just objectively giving the figures out. And then they, you know, give a an objective response based off what, what does at what time or whatever. The second episode, when the second episode of Quantum Leap came out and the ratings came out for that, they were just like, this week Quantum Leap did a cold 2.7 million, which is barely enough. And this is like, oh, oh. Even for a <sighs> 10 o'clock show, they were just like, and now it's still going down. It's only three episodes in. It ain't going to get higher. See, Not if with Monday Night Football there. Cobra Kai fucked up by releasing all at once. I think they should be. I think they should, should do be weekly. Episodes. Should be weekly. Weekly should with weekly. two episodes at least. Yeah, I completely, um, absolutely agree at this point. It's even. It might be one of those situations of like, trust me, customer. It's what you want. <laughs> like, you, if you want your show later. to be around, that has to be the case because now Cobra Kai is in question. Uh, I also, still think there's there's a, another season, but it's in question. It's just, it still there's a vibe been. that's really worthwhile when you do uh, when you do the weekly because you can just you can just talk with people and settle down after that impact because like you know i hate to say it right but house of dragons reaching it's already getting to the point of like game of thrones speculation levels and enjoyment engagement for people yep um i'm starting to see comments guys on things here and there saying feels like we're just it's just back it's 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 just fully back and it's like oh my god is that true though could it be uh, a little too soon. Well, we'll see if we get past a certain um scene because I think people will screech. I'm gonna be fine with it, but uh, you know, well, like I was saying, this even uh, completing season one well, we still got a long way to go, but uh, it's it's really turning the audience in general, is what I'm seeing in terms of just oh, yeah, they want to see more. That House last of episode Dragons is 10 episodes or is it eight? 10. 10, yeah. Look at that ass. Look, 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 look. Oh, hold on. Can you, oh, 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 on. Can you, can turn you blow it, it up? Yeah, 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 yeah. There. Ooh. Oh, we got the Kelly Jones Ragman. Yeah. Ragman coat. Yeah, 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 yeah. That so looks that is cool. Around about circa 5, 55, 60. March 1998, 552. Oh, close. Close. That's crazy. Ooh, I just it was saw my life. Doctor it was Doom my mask. life. Collecting Batman yeah, was my get, life. We can get me off. There we go. Ooh. I um, was collecting. Um, all I was doing is collecting. Somebody call Mrs. Reading, Zen. Reading. I somebody, was about to say somebody call Mrs. Zen right in. now. I'm so what? glad I didn't. Okay, show's over. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> is that all you have to do? Uh, Hey. Life's yes. short, buddy. No, seriously, um, though, Gary, that Doctor Doom mask is fucking awesome. Is is I yes this uh the factory X one I've got a I've got an Iron Man one I got to find somewhere too I'm I'm slowly finding my things and it's it's nice I'm only missing one thing right now and it's killing me because it was a so gift. am I personality oh it's a Denny's Fisher <laughs> Jesus Doctor S. Who I put it in a comic box somewhere because I was like hastily packing to get the hell out of uh, California. So I, I wrapped up this uh, uh, Denny's Fisher, which is like a Mego uh, fourth doctor vintage worth tons of money. Somebody gave it to me. So I wrapped it up nice, put it in a box, put it in a comp box. I have no idea where that comp box is. I have a lot of comp boxes, oh. so I'll find it. I'll find it eventually. But mm. like, oh, it's like Texas heat and stuff. And I'm really trying to avoid getting a storage facility. I don't mm. think we're going to be able to avoid that. The fact that I have a house and I have to get a storage facility is bad. Hi, my name's good. Az. Yeah. <laughs> I am an addict. Storage anonymous. Yeah. A, a storage. Bad. So there will be a shop someday. 
even if it's uh yeah there will be a shop someday because i need to get rid of a lot of stuff you can always make an online store well, we're gonna that's where we're gonna start chat just Ooh. buy approximately oh i don't know twenty thousand plushies and i might have plushies? enough to buy a house oh wait oh, oh. One of the, yeah one of those uh how are we doing on those? Have you okayed your final? Yeah, have, I you, did. have you actually seen your thing and okayed it? Yeah. So they should be sending you the physical prototype, as far as I'm aware. Ah. Oh, okay. I can't wait to see those. So you get an in, and then when you get it, you get an in hand. Yeah, this looks this looks great. Or what? Okay. I'll follow up. But I haven't heard from him for a bit because he said that to me, and I haven't seen it in weeks so i'm gonna give him a, a probably poke. takes a minute to make the no post. mine's done oh, okay i mean we saw it didn't we we saw it. the yeah. yeah they're pretty good with all of it like they've got everything set up i think to just bing bang bop it gets to go right out but then once you you me and jeremy have okayed that then boom they go up that's the campaign up the wong virus has gotten in the chat and i love it oh no yeah. So Wong. Since we started one mention of Wong. Wong. Oh, yeah. the Wong army. The Wong army. <laughs> well, it needs to be racist, X Ray Gil. Come on. Uh, you're oh. you're all about your legion of members. Yeah, I have a legion of members now. Speaking of members, oh. go tit. Yeah. I'm gonna come. All of you, go tit. Uh, I think Rachel. We were gonna. Oh, we were just going into a subject, Rachel's, and I forgot Rachel's what it was. Hard to get. I can't. Uh, oh, there's two apples. We were I talking... bring her an apple, and she's oh, yeah, like, yeah. "I want yeah. two apples." Fucking whore. We mean... were talking about the She-Hulk ratings. She-Hulk ratings. Oh. So and... remember, <laughs> Sandman. Sandman was on the in the top ten for the three weeks up to the lead up of House of the Dragon, Rings of Power, and, and according to Neil Gaiman, in thirty nine countries as well. And thirty nine countries, and it's not getting a season two. Remember, as when Watchmen was so popular, they're like, "We don't need to do anymore." It's just it got, yeah. it got, no, no. It, well, it got re, we. Watchmen has been renewed for a second season, and then a week later, we're not doing a second season. We've done all we need to do. Yep. Everyone's dream for making a TV show is one season and done. That's all they ever want to do. I I really want Mollick. that to happen to Rings Maybe. of Power. Like Oof. all of a sudden, like oh, by the no, way, no, it started. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got <gasps> milk. They got milk yeah. campaign. Oh. The milk. oh. She just blew Angel. That's what she did. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, they've just wow. started filming season two. Did they? Of Rings of Power. Oh, Rings of Power. Yes, they did. Yeah. And, they're gonna, oh. and they they made a point to say, we're adding Kieran the shipwright. But you know who they didn't mention? Kelleborn. Kelleborn. How can they be? Went out to get some Lembus bread and never came back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> myself laughing at that. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm just going out to get some Lembus bread. I'll be back I'll be, right, I'll be back, right back, my dear. I never shot him again. <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, I could not get away." She was a bitch, man. Just complaining all the time, <laughs> scowling all the time. <laughs> he's just in a brothel with with a pipe. With just yep. some beautiful elven women over him, he's just going. I just couldn't take it anymore. I just couldn't. Just couldn't, couldn't take it. Isn't that incessant in the arch. Always telling me like seawater won't quench my thirst. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's a tempest in her every time we're in bed. Every time, yeah. <laughs> there is a tempest in joke. me. I was going to make the work. Oh, can, can you fucking, can you do it outside? You know how long menopause lasts with an elf? <laughs> oh, wow. Dude, she's going through puberty right now. Never mind menopause. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's like. It's like, it's like 1500 years, bro. <laughs> Good luck. Wow. Oh, uh, there goes that. It's down to five percent now. <laughs> the female portion of my audience. Uh, no, I, I did see this uh, meme that was I, I feel pretty accurate. Um, there it is. Oh man, I'm at six point three percent. Oh no! Oh dear. <laughs> it's true though. <laughs> 
It's, it's true. true. It's true. Shadow Fox. <laughs> Shadow Fox. <laughs> Shadow Fox. <laughs> Shadow, Shadow gives an alpha. All right. So, Woo. yeah. So, Sandman was number one on that very same list and other lists. But then uh, Titiana, um, Titania, Titania. I know it's Titania. Hang on. I got to share it now. Do you need that uh, list again? Oh, no, I, I've got, I've got, tit, no, it's, it's tit, ania. Now tit. It is, that's what it is. Uh, I don't even know what that means. What she's doing, by the way. Oh, fries, it's dude. Character. Well, for Maybe one, fries. it's McDonald's fries, so they paid yeah. for the ad. Yes. Yeah. And then remember, they were eating over fries. That's how uh, Jen gets laid. She eats over uh, fries. She wants to get laid. So yeah. I think it's it's Titania is probably in on the. Uh, on the getting her blood thing, probably. Uh, oh, definitely. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. No. They don't um, either, so we shouldn't. But this is fine. Uh, you and four people are waiting, which is funny. But it's the responses <laughs> that she gets. I like that the guy's name was Big Mac, because that's a McDonald's thing, too. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Big Bless Mac you. and fries. Thank you. Oh, where's the guy who says, is it is it under her? Well, here, I'll get her. Hang on. I'll get her response that uh, she responded to Jeremy. She what? responded to me a couple times too. Yeah, here's the response. I couldn't trust myself to post anything relatively normal, so I didn't. Yeah, I just kept it really light. <clears throat> she asked like how your life was, and I'm like, so good. <laughs> well, I was gonna post the only the only thing you've got correct about this season is your tits. Wow. Misogyny. I think she would yeah. have appreciated that. She probably yeah. would have appreciated that. <laughs> yeah. Um, dude, like who care? Like uh it was in response to yeah, right, Mr. Sandman. All that buildup of 20 minute episodes for nothing to happen. You won't be seeing uh a second seasoned fry. Oh. <laughs> but um there we go. He deserves it. Dude, who cares? I got to live my dream and be in a Marvel project and go to events where I got to meet all my favorite Marvel stars and talk to them about their movies. And I got paid. Uh, there's a question mark in there. My cup is full. Uh, but how is your life going? Pretty good. So basically, I am no. a, a Hollywood weirdo and uh, I'm in Hollywood and you're just little people. You're a pleb. Yeah, you're a pleb. You're a little person, plap. She dub she doubled down on that <clears throat> in her response to me too. I was like, she did. Oh, you want to yeah. share? It? Yeah, because she. Uh, so I, I kind of, um, like, I, I retweeted it, and uh, why Streamyard updated itself and it looks all weird now. Okay, hold on. Uh, so I said. Uh, I actually, I, I, I directed her to Drinker's open bar stream with uh, Mahler and the, the ladies night where we reviewed um, the thing, the show, because she thing. was saying, uh, yeah, the, the thing, it was the thing, because um, she was saying, you know, actually, I really want to hear and engage with critics so I can learn value. I, I value Marvel fans, but I can't hear them. When they're screaming and when people are randomly rude and personal, it just brings defense and nothing productive happens. If you want me to hear you, be humane. So I, I told her, like, you know, I, if you if you really want to hear what we have to say here, watch this video. Uh, and I linked her to Drinker's Open Bar. Oh, I wish I'd seen that one. I would have responded to that one by saying, so you're referring to the members of the alphabet community that mercilessly uh, attacked you for misgendering a person that was being nasty to you. Oh, I didn't even see that stuff as I don't I didn't see that. Yeah. Uh, so this person is like earlier, dude, who cares if our show absolute trash a few hours later, I value Marvel fans. OK, Jamila, sure. And so she replied back to him saying, I said, who cares about a second season as I'm grateful enough, not about the quality of the show. I like the show. And I was like, well, I mean, I, think I like the show. That's really a patch that I will say. <laughs> Yeah, and I and I said, uh, well, Jamila, I think a lot of crew and people who aren't paid as much as you probably would care to get a second season. It's just odd thing to say that you don't care to get a second season of a show you're claiming to love so much. 
Um, it ain't getting a second season. She said she, she likes it, it okay? Either. She likes she, it. She likes, she likes it. it. She likes she likes it. it. I'm sure, you know, she's in it. She likes it. That makes sense. In all honesty, I don't like I actually don't hate the fact that she like owned the character and made it tw- made her Twitter account that and she was like acting the part and stuff like that. Like those are, those are fun things. Like go ahead, have fun with it. Like she's got cast as, you know, one of her, you know, I guess it was one of her dreams that she's claiming that to be a cast as a Marvel person. Go have fun. But when she starts to attack the fans, that's when I have a problem. <laughs> like I'm like, okay, you don't have to be a bitch. Uh so that's the that part is cool. Go do your thing. Be an actress. Promote your show. Do what you need to do. But when you start going off at people, that's when that's when you're like, oh. yeah. I mean, it goes along with everything else that's going on in our society. But like, really, in the the nerd sphere, mm-hmm. just stay out of it. It would be yeah. best to stay out of it because you're not going to understand the nuances. So if you're just an actor <clears throat> coming in, taking a job, and you don't know all the garbage and baggage. That comes with Marvel nowadays that Disney has caused that Disney has caused in our fandoms. Uh, yeah, it's going to look very surprising and shocking to you. But um, recently I had a couple people reach out to me instead of like going out and uh, they, they put up a meme. They regretted it. And then they reached out to people and they're like, what's going on? And we told them that's all. And, and they, they heard it from other sides, too, not just our side. But they went out like, what is going on? And we went, oh, well, here's what I think is going on from my perspective. Other people told them from their perspective. And now they see it. They see what's going on. And they understand that so many, so much identity politics uh, has been injected into our fandom. And it's all from, it comes from a political ideology, which is a foundation built in Sam. That's why we call everything woke, because everything is fucking woke. And the last company that will ever change is Disney. Disney will not change. Look at that, like, look at the sequel to Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. This is going to be something you've, it's going to be a, a, a shit show on Twitter. Oh, it's going to be a shit show. I simply put up a question. I've been, I've done it three times on Twitter. I'm like, where's Namor? That's all I said. So I says, where's Namor? Man, is that trick? That's as triggering as Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Mm. Right. But again, mm, but, Twitter, it's not a problem. You could you could actually question. I'm sure at comic shops, people are really going. Doesn't look like Namor. It's not, he's not from Atlantis. They're not even calling him the Submariner. You know, they, they've changed everything. So for one, for one, I, I fully believe that this is a rights issue thing because I know they didn't have all the rights to the Submariner. It's 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 spread about kind of like it's it's like the Hulk's, Hulk rights are. But it's with a, a producer. I can't remember the name. So that's the last time I heard was about two or three years ago. The the, uh, the Namor rights were fucked up, like massively fucked up. So what they have to do is massively change the character. So that then they go, hey, we'll make it progressive. We'll lean into identity politics and say he's Mesoamerican instead of, I don't know, from the Atlantic Ocean, Atlantis, maybe even... Egyptian. He doesn't have to be Greek. He doesn't have to be white. If you want to make it from a, a derivative of Atlantis, it would be Egypt because that's where the myth came from. It came from Egypt. It, it, Egypt. It was passed on to Greek philosophers, but no, they're just like, ah, let's just make, like, it makes no sense to have it. Something land bound. It's dumb. It's just dumb. Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> and there is a Quetzalcoatl already. I know. Just use that then. No. No, but it's it's done. It, it's part of this. Uh, it's part of this. Uh, the fan baiting marketing. It's part. That's part of it. It gets conversation. Yeah, but did you see going. the trailer yesterday, though? I did see the trailer uh-huh. yesterday, and it looked terrible. It looked terrible. It looked uh, him flying around looked terrible. The flying oh, around looked so bad. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed when I saw that. It's so be- fucking. His I little like cool fucking the little feathers. like little booties. Oh. He looked like card captor Sakura. He was like flying around with the little booties. So did you realize that they introduced our protagonist in the second trailer? <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> right at the end. So two full trailers, and you don't see who Black Panther is until the very end. <laughs> and that's Black still not Black Panther. People are 
That's everybody not even Black Panther, it. right? Yeah. Is the it's going to be Mbaku? Is not the the? No, that that the Black Panther at the end was uh, Shuri. Shuri. No, I know, Black but I thought that the whole idea was they wouldn't want her as Black Panther because of this, that, and the other. That I thought oh, they were because of be her, the... her stance on um on <clears throat> her vaccinations and stuff. Oh, her vaccination. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I could have sworn I read it that they decided to go with Mbaku instead. That he was going to become Black Panther. Clearly the, not. The, so, and what I'm suggesting is that possibly that ending isn't quite the ending of the film i'm not sure or at least uh, dude there's theories i i'm not this is just a dumb fan theory but i, I could totally believe it that somebody said we'll find out who black panther is in the extra credit scene in this <laughs> no. so cringe that would be just, so unbelievably cringe just in case you didn't know it is official elon musk is buying twitter for the original price yeah i've heard about it is it i didn't know that I mean, I he's know. got the money now that he tanked the shares and then bought a fuckload, most likely. But uh... he he's in trouble uh, yeah. right now, big time. I mean, we're not going to talk about why oh, he's yeah, in trouble. Oh yeah, he's in he's massive in trouble. trouble. He said, uh, "Why don't we try and negotiate peace?" Yeah. Yeah. What a dick. What a dick. What a, what a twat. Fuck. And then all the left are going, but that will get in the way of the nuclear war. <laughs> but we want war. <laughs> and then fucking. Uh... He's in trouble. Shelny tiny tits uh, from the Ukraine is like, you know, well, I've still got my celebrity touring to do and my Vogue's and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's a joke, dude. It's fucked. This is this is a comical. I mean, Clown world. Well, I was, it's it's a comical war. It would be it would, you know, unfortunately, there's nuclear <laughs> weapons involved here. Potentially, <laughs> I would just say, fellow citizens, vote vote for your. Vote with your eyes, vote with your ears, not with what you're told. And we're coming up on an election Next month, that could right? disrupt some of the war machine. And maybe they don't want to be disrupted. So, but you can disrupt that. We can disrupt that. Just a thought. Just a thought. Going to be a big, big wave of a certain color. Uh, happening and uh, it's it's nobody's fault but the current regime. Um, we have a member. Ziki Zian is a new member. Thank you very much for joining up at one o two p.m. Central Time. I appreciate that. Oh my God! The yeah the the sex bots are. Hey, I'm honored. Sex bots are fighting the woggers. They're so sex into bots. You. What do you think? What do you think about? Yeah, what do you think about She-Hulk, sex bots? <laughs> Rings of power? Did you, ever, did you ever get the bots? Ewan happened, Musk. Say, like, a year Ewan and a half Musk. ago, there were bots that would, uh, the way they work is that they would take another chatter's comment and copy-paste it to themselves yes. and then try and come across as real people. That one was creepy. Mm. Mm. Oh, I don't... I don't Ewan! <laughs> my brother! <laughs> Ewan Musk. Ewan Musk. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> so, I'm I'm trying to find where. Yeah, it, it's if you put up the Nielsen's from the first week, She Hulk did not appear at all in the first week Nielsen's, and they can't say, well, it was later in the week. Da da da. da. No, they had four days. Um, if you parse through, like House of the Dragon versus that those first two episodes of The Rings of Power, uh, Ryan did a great video on it showing that. Yeah, it shows three episodes of House of the Dragon, but it's actually two. It's actually two because the third episode came out on a Sunday and it was just, just a couple hours. And it's just minutes viewed. But if you go to the, and it's in my video too, if you go to a certain paragraph in the Hollywood Reporter article, it tells you actual number of people who watch the show in the United States and House of the Dragon beat it by a couple million. A couple million. So it was like eh, 12 million people supposedly watched The Rings of Power on its premiere, both episodes. And... And 14 million people watched an episode, an episode of House of the Dragon the same week. So it's kicking its ass. It's absolutely kicking its ass. And I can't wait to see the ratings in a month. Um, by the way, we just saw the, the episode, uh, the last episode of the Rings of Power, Udun, um, the origin of Mordor, the uh. origin of Mordor. And Mount Doom, because you know you wanted that. She took on the volcano. She, she was did. like, "Ain't hey, no volcano got anything on me." 
Bring it on, bitch. I'm not oh, moving. It's Cheeto they time. They shouldn't be baiting that, okay? She should be dead and everyone will be happy. But now. Everyone should be dead. The most cool everyone. is that if she died, it would confirm she wasn't the real Galadriel because the real Galadriel's alive. <laughs> hey, that's true. It was a cannibal. Maybe it was her that was Sal Sauron all along. Maybe. It was so. Sauron all along. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't wait for that show. I mean, I'm not going to watch it, but... It's going to be for the walls. For the walls. Just the sink walls. like a stone on a ship in fucking Middle Earth or whatever the fucking bullshit's coming out. Fuck. Hey, do you want to have an origin story of somebody that you barely saw in a TV series that you honestly don't actually know who they are really understand. or care about? She came yeah. into Westview to get her powers, wonders, but then she became a part of the thing, but then she broke out of it. Also, she has the rune trap. That whole shit was weird, man. All it was here all along, fine. though. All along. All along. That's actually Not a really great stuff. little um, study of, I don't know, media. The It was here all along thing. You just want to pull the audience. What was here all along? And I want to see all the answers. I like yeah. how it was... It's one of those moments where a load of the audience are like, oh, wow, it was her. And then someone else just goes, what was her? What are you talking about? <laughs> like, Why was did her? <clears throat> Mahler, did you read that article where they were saying that she, she, the, like the actress had to ask uh, Elizabeth Olsen about like everything Marvel because she didn't know anything? <laughs> I can believe that. It's, it's gone to the point where everybody's there to do the job sort of thing right yeah i was like dude you could at least pull up a wikipedia for fuck's sakes because she's like i didn't know anything about see, it and she was proud of it i was like you say that but if christian bale said to me i don't fucking care i i was there to do a job i'd be like that's fair yeah it's yeah. christian bale sure because yeah and and the reality is he he chose not to care about possibly one of the least cared about movies in terms of its director and writer so you know, it was a good choice. Yeah. yeah. So now there's a rumor that Christian Bale wants to be in a Star Wars movie. It's like, why? Because Thor worked out so well for him. I um, think it's because of his know. kid. Could be because like of his thing. kid wants, like, that's why his kid wanted him to join Marvel too. And that's why he did it. Apparently. You know, Christian, you don't have to do everything your kids tell you to do. <laughs> you don't. I don't. Uh... Yeah. So. That last episode, you, they have they, they are so creatively bankrupt on the show that they had to give us an origin of a geographical location. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay. the whole thing was going off. I was like, these people should be di like dying of like not being able to breathe. Like, have you ever been in California when there's a forest fire or in Vancouver? Mm -hmm. Like, you yep. cannot I try to your avoid eyes those. burn. Yeah, I avoid those. Well, I know they're bad. But they're bad. Like the and they smoke... make the entire sky orange. Yeah, yeah. and the smoke yeah. goes everywhere, and your eyes burn, and like you just can't breathe. There's, it's, it's like it's really bad. These people are like literally next to a volcano, and they're it's so a like magical eh. world, Nina. Anything <laughs> like, can what? happen. That village, be remember, most of the fire is way closer <laughs> than Pompeii was yeah. to the volcano. <laughs> yes, like, but Pompeii's volcano it. wasn't cold as this one's cold. Cold volcano. <laughs> Cold Kano? Cold Kano. Yeah, oh no, I'm about to be hit by the pirate. It's a fucking. Blast. Oh, it's, oh, it's actually it's just lukewarm. It's a anyway. fucking weird volcano that gets set off by water. I'm like, what? How the fuck did this happen? In a, a ventilated, in a ventilated chamber that hasn't a built up any pressure yeah. under rock. It has to build yeah, pressure I'm not, under rock. I'm not a volcanologist. Real thing, by the way. But I, uh, I, it yes. didn't seem yes. to be quite right. It, it seemed like. Huh? Was it Wong? It was Wong. It was Wong. Wongologist. Oh, <laughs> we too low. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong. Something Wong. Something Wong here. Oh my god. There's just something I can't put my finger on. Uh, oh wow. Okay. I'm proud of you for saying finger on instead of finger in. Thank oh. you. Yep. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, Mahler. Progress, not perfection. You know, that's what we're looking yeah, for. Yeah, rare Mahler. On the real BBC. <laughs> okay. So that that episode was so monumentally dumb. And I know, like, because action happened, people are like, well, there was less dialogue and it was less boring. And I understand that. But then watch it a second time. Most of you didn't. Okay. No yeah. way. Why? Why would I torture myself? Yeah. 
I um, did. <laughs> I watched it once and I gave it a oh. minus 58. Yeah. I I watched it and then I I I fell asleep right after the war happened. Or like the, what war? Whatever. It was the a battle. skirmish right in a the hamlet. Battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The battle. Right after the battle. Not a battle. Like, that was actually. I, it was like uh, three Numenorians versus <laughs> six orcs. I'm with uh, I'm with no Alan. Man's land. I actually think it's a girl. problem for the story that none of them there seemed to question Kane. this. They were like, we were here to fight a war. We just wiped out like a handful of orcs running around <laughs> the village. Like that wasn't really. Yeah. And it's like, yes, but we're gonna go chase the ones that ran off. It's like, right. So we just we just launched from our home, like with all these. Right. Remember the end of uh, last episode, episode five. Gaggle. I know a gaggle of orcs. That's all. It was. They're walking towards the tower. You could barely get anybody in to the into the tower area. So not many orcs were killed when the tower fell down. There was tons of orcs at the end of the episode five. Then they sent the humans into the village first. Then the orcs came in, and there were just barely numbers. So where were all the orcs? You have to know to love yeah, it. It's a magical world, as yeah. they just they, teleported away yeah, and teleported. Re multiplied. Makes sense if you don't think about it. Just turn your brain off, and most shows get better around the third season anyway. All Wait, first seasons of everything sucks. But so that's what happened to me though. I, I fell asleep right after that battle, and then like when when she chases him through the forest or whatever, or Adar, uh, like right after that, I fell asleep. So I missed that entire conversation when they went back to the barn, and then they were having a conversation oh. until the volcano went off, and then I woke up again. Well, that's like, your loss. It was epic. She uh, threatened <laughs> to torture his men to make him squeal. It was uh, quite a was thing that... to hear from your main hero. <sighs> But yeah. then she said, but I'm going to kill you anyway, so why would he talk? Yeah. Well, I don't. I wasn't sure what I was supposed to interpret in that scene, because he seems to give her a, an answer she's satisfied with. Like, she's like, where is Sauron? And he's like, I killed him. And then she's like, all right, and leaves. And it's like, oh. How did you manage that? And then he went, hi, Sauron, to Halbrand. Then then he goes, Who are you to Halbrand? Just just in case we didn't know he was Sauron. I like how he saved uh Elendil or whatever that guy's name. Only to kill him later. Yeah. He's gonna He's... So what's the point? The thing is, you're like, you're thinking as a normal human oh. being, maybe there'll be something to that in between him mm -hmm. saving and him. No, it's just going to be him saving him and then him killing them. But why yeah. did you save him in the first place? Uh, the well, why did he save Galadriel in the first place? Didn't make yeah, sense. Exactly. You think there's going to be some explanation of why he's he very long. struggling. He's yeah. About it. He's like, oh, he was pretty cool, but I don't know. I don't know. I just he's, wanna, he's I just want to find the right girl and settle down. You know? <laughs> Maybe Galadriel, you know, she could change me. She's changing him. I can change him! When I saw that in the in the Uber fans, the fake Uber fans video, I thought the guy was joking. I mean, but that's what they really went for. They're going for the shipping. I can change him. Bad boy shit. Oh! Sorry, I know that's meant to be internalized, but sometimes it's really Sounds like hard. the end of uh, the Batman. <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 That's somebody needs to do that. Just watching, watching the Rings of Power, and then just going to the Riddler at the end. Yep. Oh my God, I'm I'm almost there, dude. That was me after I watched that new Marilyn movie, Blonde. <laughs> Melon mu me Melon movie. Melon movie, sweet. Marilyn. Uh, that sounds awesome. Melon movie. I've not heard anything positive about that uh, Blonde movie, by the way. It's fucking awful, Mahler. I. Why is it, is, is it awful? Because they make her look ridiculous. Do they make they make her look stupid or what? All of the above, and they just yeah, made just, they just made shit up. Disrespectful, yeah. They made shit up and it was extremely disrespectful and they just made it was very it was just bad. It was like a fetish movie. Oh. Based on 
it's based on true events and they just wanted to get their fetishisms in yeah that's why yeah. i went straight to netflix yeah. and netflix was at a time where they would buy anything and they're just they're not there anymore amazingly uh netflix a year ago would have totally greenlit sandman season two already <laughs> I, I i that was quite interesting because neil gaiman was really kind of going out guns blazing when it came out uh-huh defending the series and saying it's number one 30 you know 39 countries or something like that uh it's number one in in uh the uk us according to netflix according to netflix we can only go by what they say obviously yep <clears throat> and then they drop a, a an extra episode out of the blue yeah that was when weird people, when people think the show's ended and then <laughs> yeah, it's gonna go. Oh, it's been cancelled. Wait, no, so they cancelled sorry. it? There's no season two of. Oh, um, what, were, they, were they gonna save the last episode for season two, which they do all the time? That happens all the time, uh, and they just decided not to and dropped it. I don't know. Hmm. Wait, so they, they cancelled the show? Yeah, someone's cancelled. Yeah, it's not being. Uh, it doesn't look good. So what is the word then? They're saying we don't need a season two. Are they doing that thing again? They are. I think it's, it's confirmed. It's confirmed no season two. Yeah, they they normally green light stuff a lot quicker, and they have not done it. So it's concerned a lot of people. And Sam uh, Neil Gaiman came out and said, "Well, it's the way people watched it. It's too cerebral." So they were oh, watching. Oh no, he didn't do yeah. the fucking meme from Ghostbusters. Oh though. no, he did. Well, he I mean, said, I, I'm concerned about Cobra Kai. That hasn't been greenlit either for season six. It took a while for season five to get greenlit. No, I think say. Netflix is waiting for their ad thing to come in, and they're going to start releasing shit weekly. Uh, they need yeah. to. They need to do it weekly. They need to. They need to. They need to. Oh, they're gonna. <gasps> they gonna. Oh, but Gary. Hollywood's going like, uh, here, I'll I'll pull up an article. Gary, quick, can I show you this? Yeah, I know yeah. this is completely off topic, but. X06 is Captain T. Kirk from the motion picture. It's beautiful. Oh, that's it's beautiful. Pretty. It's beautiful. It's pretty. Beautiful. <sighs> they took my money for Tuvok yesterday. I'm sorry, what was that? Tuvok's come. They've took my money oh. for the pre order of oh, Tuvok. So and tomorrow, no, sorry, uh, Thursday, uh, Chicote comes out to pre order. <gasps> I love Chicote. Chicote. Are these old Star Trek things? Yes. I don't yes. get it either, Tra. <laughs> I like Q. Fuck me. There you go. Oh God. Yeah, he's cool good now. Actually. He's great, though. I love him. I've already got my Judge Q. But they said that, uh, XO6 has said that it's very likely that the whole of the uh, Voyager cast is going to be done before the end of the year. But So the better hurry. Oh, you guys must be super excited with that uh, Picard Season 3 on the way. <laughs> oh God! Just I've never, I didn't even believe, watch it. I'm one. so skeptical. I have to I get my Picard review out before. I was I was gonna out. say I didn't watch season one. I was waiting for Gary to drop his fucking review, but it's like his mythical winter, review. Winter, it's never fucking happening. Not mythical. It'll get done once fucking Ring of Power's over with, and I got some. You're like time. you're like fucking Sean Bean, mate. Winter is coming, and it took yeah, eight man. fucking seasons. It did come, and it was terrible. <laughs> 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 and that could happen with my Picard. It could disappoint him. Oh, oh, that will probably happen. But not your review. The show will just disappoint him. Oh, yeah. Nice save. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, Ooh. I, I don't want to get fired. <laughs> I'm not going to get fired. Oh, that is just, that is just, just going to, you're just going to voluntarily quit in the middle of the week. <laughs> Crying. Unforeseen circumstances. I had to move. I had to move back to Iran for due to creative differences. Holy shit! Holy shit. <laughs> you, you need to go help your sisters over there. Yeah, I gotta go. Free them. So you better stop pricing your death to America, chance. I know. Oh, dude, you see that video today of all the girls in the school, mm -hmm. or wherever the hell they were, throwing down their hijabs and saying "death to the leader." Yeah. I was They've fucking ballsy. That's like, stuff. but you know what? Uh, here in, we have all these fucking idiots. You know, uh, we got a we got a gender and race swapped fictional character for the seventeenth time. Victory for whatever, whatever the fuck ism you're worshiping right now. 
And then we have like real women like risking death. Death. Yeah. I mm. I was I was actually um impressed with another tweet. Uh Persian girl Nazanin posted from Rings of Power because she called out Justin Trudeau because he he was like, We're gonna we're gonna make Iranian color Christmas lights and stand what? strong with the Iranian women that are being like whatever. And he's like, Oh, <laughs> just like you stood with your truckers, mate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so she was like, oh, yeah, like people are dying in Iran right now. Uh, your Christmas lights are really going to help. Like, yeah, they mean shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was like, Trudeau yeah, is a, good. he's just a, he's a, a drama good. school teacher poser. Yeah. 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 That's all he is. But he was cute. So let's totally vote for him. Right, Canada? Oh, my That's God. Right. He's so good looking. Back in uh, it, Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on a new poll. Well, yeah, you worked a poll, all right? This is, this is for you, Az. This is oh, my voice. okay. And Gary. I Here voted for Jack Layton. <laughs> What's likely to happen? As in 39 seconds. Well, that's easy now. Winter, oh, wow. winter, Gary's Picard review. Oh, my oh. Picard review. Totally. Winter, Apparently, winter. Apparently, as is winning. I, I click, I click as winter, is winter. winning. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. You got it's a lot of faith in my sexual prowess, chat. <laughs> I, went, I went to vote. Wow. 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 Do you know this is a true story? I won't, I won't elaborate. Don't worry. But I know the quickest I've ever had sex because me and my girlfriend. Right, right, okay. Because right, wow. me and my girlfriend were having right. My, my girlfriend. Have you learned mama, nothing? Have you learned fiance, nothing? No, nothing, <laughs> nothing at all. I'm like Jon Snow. I know nothing, mate. As Ooh. as a girlfriend is what I got from this sentence. Right. When what? I was engaged, when I was engaged, my my fiance oh. and I we had a uh, we had a party. And uh, we took the coats upstairs while people were, you know, having drinks and whatnot downstairs. So we'd taken some coats upstairs and chucked them on uh, the bed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we decided, I'm going to say we, because it totally wasn't me. Uh, we decided to see how quickly we could have sex and get back downstairs. And and uh, so we timed it. And Did it you was... do it on top of the co coats? Anyway, it was, uh, no, no comment. No comment on that. God damn it, as no comment on that at all. <laughs> wow. The guy that went home later. What the hell is this sicky stuff on my sleeve? Oh. Okay now. Okay now. Uh, so how much time was it, as? Uh, two minutes thirty-eight seconds. All right, there you go. Thirty-eight. Two minutes thirty-eight seconds. <laughs> wow. Cool. That's pretty good. Wow. But uh, the whole point was to try and go, go as quick as possible. What that and you did it. You won. Congratulations. You know, your ancestors would be proud. I got a I got an award from the Queen. <laughs> wow. Oh. That makes sense. I'm gonna come. She was right. that interesting. Just 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 to just I just said that we did it on the coats for comic effect. We did not do it on the coats. I'm proud of all my subjects for going this long. Spreading the seed. <sighs> Vanity Fair. Oh, I spread the seed, all right? All over yeah, it. Gary's <laughs> like, okay, that's okay, enough. I know. Wow. Uh, high Jeez. anxiety in Hollywood. <laughs> As a story gave me high anxiety about the coats. The coats are fine. <laughs> as far as I know. This is going yeah, back quite a few go. years, folks. Dude, you are talking to a guy who's had like sex on a Pizza Hut bathroom. Like, I don't give a shit. Wow. What? I don't think they want to hear about it. Okay. So, a Pizza Damn. Hut dude. Yeah. Even I wouldn't do that. Oh, yeah. I was there. I, I was, was there, there for it. <laughs> I hope you were there when you had sex. <laughs> yeah, I was there when I had sex. I was in there. Your dream. Well, I hope you were there. I wasn't always there. I was in the <laughs> yeah, third you're and somewhere fourth else. dimension sometimes, too. So, sure. Oh, I might have seen me. I want to play maybe, Never maybe Have I, I Ever with y'all. I was talking to Machine Elves and Mahler. Did you ever run into The Flash? Uh, no. That but was run right into Ezra Miller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. Oh, no, you, you weren't it. in Ezra Miller's cult. Come on. No, no, I was in his dimension. Yeah, you were <laughs> You're in the fucking Speed Force. <laughs> <laughs> the speed Force, and he was... 
He was Miller, Ezra, he was Ezra Miller for Jesus. And uh, yeah. So high anxiety in Hollywood, everyone is like totally drained and burnt out. And they try to make this, start this off as a Zaslav thing, right? But Zaslav is just dealing with what Hollywood has, what, what they've done. This is, they're reaping what they have sown over the last five years. And again, this article will not bring it up. They, they, are, they are trying to, like, the goalposts that are being moved, the flaming hoops that are being jumped through to try to avoid going, you know what? We shouldn't have freaked out about Trump and alienated half our fucking audience. That's <laughs> where you should start, Hollywood. That's where you need to start. And it quite requires humility. It requires looking in the mirror and going, you know what? Shut the fuck up. It, but they can't. They it, can't. Their Gary, egos will not allow them to do that. Gary, in all honesty, though, that headline in itself, it's like you're you're in a time where there's a recession you know, all this stuff is happening. And, and, and most people know that in Hollywood, they're getting paid and a lot. why are we in a recession? Exactly. <laughs> but As Because of Trump. Because of Trump. Orange man. No, but I seriously. Buying the hot toys. I think that's seriously. the economy. You get this headline my, and my people just does. shut down because they're like, we don't care about you Hollywood elites that are getting paid more than everyone. And you're like complaining about being fucking drained and burned out like fuck off like well, they nobody will, cares well they'll do that or they will experience a little schadenfreude and like dance on their grave a little bit and yeah you know what you yeah. had it coming you had it. i mean like we yeah. years and years people were going like we're trying to work with you here could you just be quiet could you just be quiet fuck you nazi fuck you racist fuck you white supremacist so now we're like okay eat it then not sorry trade school a really great option and now that's what's happening is hollywood is contracting and it's it's a lot of factors but what sped up the factor was going completely insane and woke uh so it starts out with zaslav attempts to uh, ally fears at a town hall but layoffs and cost cutting have amped up existential dread and the reason they have added up is there was a time where they had money to pay for all these projects they had uh, they had liquid Disney had some liquid Warner Brothers, uh, Warner Brothers never really had it, but they could have they could have paid a lot of this shit off, and they decided to just forge ahead in the streaming because of uh, because of the unspecified virus from a very specified location, and um, they decided to go full speed ahead in this thing they knew nothing about, and I guess all these really smart CEOs didn't bother looking at what happened to the music industry and the publishing industry. They're like, it's going to be totally different for us. So we're like, fuck it. Where's the Coke? You know, like, uh, so we get Zaslav. They, they, they mentioned Jason Kilar, right. And what happened and his announcement to split, you know, streaming and fucking going in the theaters, but we're finding out now, like Regal just closed a few theaters. Theaters are not back. Theaters are only around because, you and I fucking paid for them in a huge fucking bailout in tax money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just went, when I went to the Rings of Power, I went to this brand new Regal Cinema. By the way, Regal just fucking closed 12 cinemas, one of them in Texas. But they, like, this is state of the art. This is the nicest fucking theater I've ever been in. It's in Waco, Texas. No offense, Waco, Texas. But it's nicer than anything I've been in San Diego or L.A. Ever. That's crazy. It is the nicest fucking theater I've ever seen. So, and and to play what? Bros? The Woman King? Like, they're not going to survive. And I knew this. And we knew this then. And that's why I was against the bailout. I'm like, fuck this. No. Because we're going to end up loaning, loaning them money to go out of business anyway. And they're just going to file for bankruptcy. So, Wait, we just... So you guys didn't go see bros? No. <laughs> It was crazy. I was like, I might, but then I was like, I mean, why? I mean, I thought you guys were into. Oh, never mind. Wow. Um, this article is a tome, okay? Uh, but it talks about Netflix's subscriber losses, everybody's subscriber losses. What it doesn't mention is HBO getting busted for fudging their numbers. Everybody's fudging their numbers, and I think eventually everybody will get busted fudging their numbers. By the way. Well, once once people start losing significant amounts of money, especially when they invest in something, they tend to sue and start getting curious about stuff. And that's when it could possibly come out. This is it's a shell game. It's a fucking shell game. 
but they talked to Iger. Let's see if I can find uh, Bob Iger, you know? Good old Bob. It. Oh, Bob. Good old Bob. Former CEO, former Disney CEO, Bob Iger, couldn't resist noting the jitters in the air when he sat down for an interview with Kara Swisher uh, at the recent code conference gathering of media and tech executives and politicians. Ugh. I'm guessing they're all from one party. Uh, right now in the media and entertainment space is the age of great anxiety. You know who helped pave the way for that anxiety? Bob Iger. This is all the consequences of his actions and others before him. Toby Emmerich, everybody before him. You know why he fucking bailed out? So he can go back and go, wow, man, it's, things are pretty fucked up right now. Whoo. How do we get here? Uh, because oh. because oh, 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 I say, <clears throat> hmm? what did you say? Take a seat. Oh. How did we get here? Take a seat. Let's go. Yep. We'll go through it step by step if you want. With his relaxed demeanor and retirement stubble, no doubt making some execs in the industry a little jealous. No, angry, angry. I'm sure, like, Bob Chapik's a fucking moron, too. Don't get me wrong. He ain't saving shit. But uh, this is, we're all dealing with repercussions from what Iger has moved forward with his uber, uber, uber crazy activist progressive slants because he thought he was going to be president for a minute, which he's not going to be, not in a million years. Uh, people who are running these big companies are anxious. Even streaming companies are anxious. Investors are anxious. Advertisers are anxious. The creative community is anxious. Agents are anxious. Everybody's anxious. There's anxious. Uh, they're anxious because this is an era of great transformation and there is still a lot of unknowns. I mean, I can't imagine how the weatherman, this genius, uh, made it a CEO at Disney. Everybody called him a genius for buying a bunch of shit. Not innovating anything, by the way. Mm -hmm. Not innovating a motherfucking thing. Uh, those unknowns are particularly obvious with Warner Brothers Discovery. Mm, they're going to be obvious with other things, too, where the insiders say they've been feeling unmoored as they await clear guidance from leaders. The new regime is still in the midst of merging two companies. By the way, there's going to be more mergers, uh, which combined have about 40,000 employees. That's about 20,000 too many, is my guess, with a distinct uh, with distinct portfolios and entertainment assets, including HBO, CNN, Warner Brothers, Studios, Animal Planet, TLC, HGTV, and the Oprah Winfrey Network, okay. among other properties. For the Warner Brothers staffers who have thus far survived the merger, it's a period of particular whiplash, according to the exec as Zaslav and his team very publicly reversed the streaming first business strategy set forth by Kalar. So in other words, they're shitting themselves right now because there's a bunch of redundancy uh, with that uh. company. But there's also a bunch of redundancy in tech. I was, when I was working in Hollywood, they were outsourcing metadata because that's essentially what I was doing. I was like basically quality checking, doing some metadata, building some menus and stuff for Blu-rays. But I was I was training I was signed on to train my replacement. So that was my whole job. Was I learned a job to teach? It's a specific job to Technicolor called a pre mastering technician. So I learned that job so I can teach it to somebody in Bangalore, India. Oh, that's fucked. <laughs> wow. And it didn't work. It ended up falling apart because um, that shocks you know, me. They were yeah. keeping it secret. Technicolor was keeping it secret from Paramount. So they, they specifically go, don't CC anyone from Bangalore in any emails to Paramount. Make them direct. Well, somebody forgot. <laughs> forgot. Somebody <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Paramount gets this big email. And they're like, what is all this? Mr. Singh from Bangalore, India? What the fuck is that? You're not outsourcing our shit, are you? Uh -oh. And they got caught. Yeah, they got caught. Oopsies. Oopsie doopsies. That was like movies like Thor. The first one. Really? Yep. My NDA's up. I can say whatever I want. It was, it was crazy. <laughs> uh, but like even in jobs like that, there was two or three people who worked all the fucking time. And then there was 20 people who worked like a couple hours a day. 
So that's what that's what uh, they're dealing with a great contraction in Hollywood, and nobody's going to be sorry to see it. So yes, you're going to get announcements like Deadpool, Wolverine coming. It, like it, it <laughs> wasn't just remember this wasn't just Deadpool three. They had to get Hugh Jackman back. They had to get Hugh Jackman back to make this movie. Well, I mean, Deadpool one and two were success enough to where you could just have Deadpool in his own sequel by himself, and that should be enough. Uh, but they had to get which I hey, this is great, but <clears> it's the equivalent of the Rolling Stones touring again, expecting it to save the music industry. It's just not. Well, there's a good chance he would have pulled a favor, right? Because they're friends. Like I don't know. Yeah. I could imagine Ryan was like, please, please, yeah. please, 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 please. I think so. But I also, how much is he really gonna be in it? Like, it's probably gonna be a five minute freaking cameo. Let's let's be honest. I think it's gonna they're gonna buddy cop them. Yeah, because it doesn't sound like Cable's in it, and it doesn't sound like Harry Armpit Domino's gonna be in it. So, um, did she have Harry Armpits? Yeah, she did. Oh. When she, you know, when she jumps out of the thing to go down where Juggernaut is, she has like her arms open like that. She got Harry Armpit. Oh my god, oh. I must have blocked that out of my mind. I must have blocked that out too. Damn. I'll, I'll confirm. I'll, I'll Deadpool look. 2 was, was, it wasn't, I mean, it was fine. That kid was annoying as hell. I couldn't stand him. The fat kid? Yeah. I, I thought it was terrible. <clears throat> Utterly terrible. I, I didn't a great care. Cover. This is a great cover right here. Look at that. Oh, cool. wait. Are you holding it upside down? I think nope. Oh. Batman 598. Oh. No. Uh, Batman 10 Cent Adventure. Here you go. Oh, oh. who's calling who? It's my mom. Hi, mom. Has boop, his boop, mama. Boop, boop, boop. Hi. I'm not answering the phone. You're not Wait. Here. It's I'll your mom. Put her, her on real BBC. Yeah, put her on, yeah, put her, yeah, put her on right. speakerphone. No, because she always embarrasses me. Okay. Yes. Aww. I love that. All the more reason. Oh, hold on. Fine. Hold on. Wait. Oh, don't oh no! Know. There you go. I go to answer it, and he clicks off. <laughs> so there you go. Deadpool three can make colossal MCU colossus. Yeah, I mean, like it'll be. It, it, who knows? It might be good. Uh, if it's might not PG thirteen, if it's PG thirteen, all bets are off. But if it's rated R, okay. All right, I'm down. I'm down. I'm okay. I'm always down with but, rated R Deadpool. Sorry, can I share this? Uh, yeah, but people were like initially coming up after like Ryan and I specifically for our criticism. Oh no, and um, and they stopped because they understood it. They understood it. it's like, oh no, we this is a great decision. It's two years away, and it just trumped every single Marvel decision of the last three years outside of No Way Home. Like no, like nobody cares about Avengers movies. Do you think they like everybody's looking forward to this movie, Deadpool? Uh, Fox X Men, by the way. You mean you're not How excited for the Marvel? Sad is the MCU if Fox X Men have to save them? Yeah, stubble. Oh, uh, I think it's a bit more than stubble, but yeah, it's a little really? bit more than stubble. Wow, that's not shadow. <laughs> no, it's it's too dark. Look, because look at the shadow that surrounds it. So that shadow would pretty essentially be the same. So no, that's oh, that's bad. Wait, that upsets you? <laughs> well, no, I'm not saying it upsets me. I'm just saying that that's what they, that's what they went with. It upsets it... me. I can shave that shit off, lady. Come on. Yeah, I'm not like that. Like you're not. I was, I was actually fine with Zazie bits beats till I found out she was, she had the hairy armpits. I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, not. It just looks it doesn't upset me. It's just not my thing. That's sanitary. Right? Yeah, I just I don't. I You're don't. into that thing, okay? That's fine. That's cool. Yeah, a lot of people are into weird shit, so whatever. Yeah. Hugo Strange. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's a good palate cleanser. Which one's Hugo Strange? <laughs> X-ray. Just all I'm thinking about. Hugo is Strange armpit. was the. <laughs> I know. Think about armpit air. Arkham psychologist. <laughs> 